Hi, I thought I would make a video, which I haven't done in a really long time. Um, and I wanted to just share a few thoughts with you. I know there's a lot of um, uncertainty going on right now and a lot of chaos and a lot of uh, emotions that have run high for every one of us, I think. I think this is the first time in history that our whole world has been affected by something. And um, it bring, it's bringing up a lot of emotions. It certainly is um, and has in me. And you know what I noticed is that sometimes when we have a crisis, it's often can actually trigger other crises from the past. And I'll tell you how I know this besides what's going on today. Um, a couple years ago, you probably remember the shootings in Las Vegas, which I live. And um, I was blessed in the way that I could go help people. They asked me to be a crisis counselor in Las Vegas um, down at the uh, Mandalay Bay Hotel. And as I started seeing people, it was very interesting to me is the shooting was one crisis for them, but it also triggered other traumas they had went through. A common theme, which I thought was interesting for some of the older people was 9-11. And then on one person, he had like five traumas being triggered at once because of the shootings. And so I thought, you know, probably right now during this time, there's probably a lot of that same thing happening is where, you know, there's a, there's so much uncertainty. We've lost, you know, uh, my husband and I have definitely been in this where he's been ill, not been able to get into the hospital. And then he's lost his job. And this was all, you know, during the COVID and there's many, many things that happen uh, to us during this time. And also with our state, it hasn't opened up. The, the governor won't tell, you know, anybody what's really going on. We just are expected to obey. And then um, with the other thing that's happened is probably a lot of people don't know this, is a lot of people in Las Vegas uh, un with unemployment, they're like four to five months behind and haven't paid anybody. So I can see all around me, you know, many, many things that people are going through and how each one can be a separate type of crisis. And I thought, you know, there was something that came to my mind today and it was, it was about control. Most of my life, I can honestly say, because my life was out of control, you know, I couldn't control the circumstances. I, I would feel that a lot of people that knew me back then would say I was a controlling person. So uh, probably my kids, especially, but, um, I, I was, you know, I needed to control everything around me because I didn't feel safe and, uh, I needed to know what was going to happen next. And, you know, what do I have to do to prepare? And, and, um, it kind of always kept me in a state of maybe I would say definite anxiety, but, is never really trusting that God had a, a better plan for me. And as I've gotten older, I have looked at my life and realized that even right now where there's so much uncertainty going on, it really doesn't matter because, I mean, it does matter to me, but it, it, I don't have the sense of needing to control because I can see what's going on. And it has triggered for me, not because of the same reasons of not being able to control things, but there's a certain sense of just peace and letting go and trusting something higher than myself that has the understanding of what I'm going through at this time and just trusting that there is a plan despite of all the areas that could be uncertain. And as I've looked through the last six months, even though there's been many things that are, could be very disturbing to people, and, but I have felt a peace in many, many ways through many things. And so the, the message I just want to share is, is I know that, that there's, uh, tensions running high right now and, and the, uh, turning against each other because we have different beliefs or thoughts. And, and I know that when we come back to a place of just feeling, um, trust, trust and letting go, because in the end, if you really look at what's happened to you in seven months, maybe some bad things have happened to you, but overall, were you taken care of? And I'm going to have to say that I definitely can say we have been taken care of because, um, I can only speak for my spell self right now, but maybe it will help you to have some peace too, is, you know, when your spouse is, has diagnosed of cancer and it's all this 
things that they're going to have to take place. And then literally, um, you can't get into the hospital because of the COVID and the COVID, the hospital really wasn't even full and we can't get in for months later. So, you know, the question is, well, how long did it, you know, grow? And so that's one question, but then, you know, you just got to let that go because this is what took place. But it, but what happened is even though there were many things to be upset about is we had an amazing miracle. People all over the world prayed and fasted for us. And, uh, everything in the diagnosis changed completely with my husband. So that was one miracle where he's, he's doing great right now. He's completely over it. Um, and that was not the diagnose, diagnosis that was, was given to us. So that was a miracle. And then another miracle, yes, he did lose his job at the same time. And yes, they haven't paid any unemployment, but we've still been okay. We've been okay because of you know what I'm doing with my business, even though it is, has went down quite a bit because of COVID, still we're okay. And even though we have other things that are coming up and that we're doing, uh, which I won't get into right now, it's still at the end of the day, it's still really okay. And, you know, I know many people have uh, many beliefs about the politics and the elections, and I've certainly voiced in mine, but, it, but I still, I don't care uh, what you feel or think I, about politics. I just love you anyway. You're my friend. And I, I never would ever hope that, you know, anything I've said would ever offend you that we couldn't be friends because of it. And that's what they want anyway, is to, to turn against each other. So I pray that I've never offended anyone. It's just what I believe. And of course, what we believe is because of our own experiences and our own perceptions. And actually, that's another thing that's actually exciting right now is um, I'm going to be sharing why I might have some of those opinions uh, coming up very soon because I've, I've written a book and uh, we'll be publishing that very soon. And, and I'm very excited, but that will probably help most people understand kind of where I've come from uh, with such a strong voice. So I know this is hard but I, I can speak from experience right now as well, is when we trust and let go, we are taken care of. And the other miracles that come through it are, to, are there to be looked at and uh, feeling gratitude. Like I'm just so grat you know, being grateful for the small things, just the things that you would never even think about saying thankful for. Sorry. We've had so many miracles on the things that, that if we weren't going through so many crises that um, I probably wouldn't have noticed. So I hope that we can all just stick together and know that this too shall pass and we'll find joy on the other side. And we can find joy living in the moment every day, just loving each other, loving the people that we care about and just being a friend and being kind. And I hope that uh, your life is being blessed at this time too, despite the world uh, chaos. So 